Hundreds of European nationals are being evacuated from Niger in the wake of a military coup that has plunged the West African nation into a political crisis and rattled the region. Two Airbus A330 planes dispatched by France arrived at the airport in capital Niamey on Tuesday afternoon. At least 262 people, including 12 infants, have already left the country on board one plane, French Foreign Minister Catherine Corona said. At the airport, a CNN journalist saw French adults and children queuing with their suitcases outside the entrance of the Dioli Himarni International Airport as the French army organized operations. Supporters of Niger's military, meanwhile, gathered outside the French embassy in Niamey on Tuesday to demonstrate against the policies alleged post-colonial influence. France has been sharply critical of the power grab in Niger, which only gained independence from the former colonial power in 1960. French officials have had to combat apparently misinformation about their role in the current crisis, denying claims that Paris planned to intervene militarily and strongly rebuttaling rumors that French embassy security used live fire to disperse protesters over the weekend. Several other European nationals are simultaneously working to evacuate their own citizens or collaborate in the French effort. Germany and Spain are both working to remove citizens from the country and the United Kingdom has said that it is in contact with a few British nationals registered in Niger and is collaborating with France. Italy, meanwhile, has organized a separate flight to evacuate its citizens. Fewer than 90 civilians are close to the country and just over 300 military personnel, according to an Italian foreign ministry spokesperson. The United States so far has kept its embassy operating on a normal schedule, with State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller saying Tuesday that there were no current indications of a threat to U.S. citizens or facilities.